today, we're going to talk about using Tenable to discover, track, and help mitigate the vulnerabilities tracked by the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, known as CISA, in their new Known Exploited Vulnerabilities Catalog. On November 3rd, 2021, CISA released Binding Operational Directive 22-01, reducing the significant risk of known exploited vulnerabilities. This requires government agencies to address a catalog of vulnerabilities that carry significant risk to federal information systems. With this new catalog, CISA is targeting vulnerabilities for mitigation that have known exploits and are being currently used by malicious adversaries in an ongoing manner. Tenable SC customers have pre-built dashboards and reports that they can access from within the product to help them report on instances of these vulnerabilities in their networks. These initial reports and dashboards focus on the initial set of vulnerabilities in the CISA catalog that are either past due for remediation and covered by previous emergency directives or due by November 17, 2021. You can access the dashboard by going to the dashboard section and then clicking on options in the top right and going to add dashboard. I'm going to search here for DHS and select the binding operational directive dashboard. Here you can rename the dashboard. You can also scroll down and change the focus of the dashboard. So if you wanted to focus on a particular asset list or repository, you could make that change here. Once you click add, it'll take a couple of minutes for the dashboard to fully populate and the data to be available. Once the dashboard populates, you can click into this like any other dashboard and see the systems that are affected and the vulnerabilities that exist on your network that CISA is tracking. The report template functions in much of the same way. To access it, go to Reporting, Reports, click on Add, search for DHS again, and it's that first DHS CISA Binding Operational Directive report. As with dashboards, you can change the targets and the filters either to assets, repositories, etc., and then click add. Once the report template is added, you can go in and you can change various details, change what the report focuses on, etc. We also recommend that Tenable SC customers look at adding a query to use that throughout the tool to help search and get the best use out of these additional vulnerabilities. The easiest way to add that is to go back to the dashboard and select which set of vulnerabilities that you wish to save as a query. In this instance, I'm going to look at the query for the vulnerabilities due on November 17th. I'll click into that and it takes me to the analysis view where I already have the pre-built filter for all of those CVEs. Now I can just go to options, save query. I can save this as the CISA bones due on 11-17-21. Now I can access this query in the tool whenever I want. This can be done here through the analysis view. It can be done through dashboards. It can be done through reports. It can also be done through the alerting function. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you found this video helpful.